Well again guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I do my sorrel fruitcake. So let's get right into the video. So here we have two sticks of butter, room temp. Yes guys. So now we're going to unwrap them and the wraps from the butter, I will be leaving them to grease my can. Yes, my baking can. So we already have our stove preheated. Yes. So this is a quick, this is Pals Island Kitchen style. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add our sugar. So I'm using the brown sugar. So this is my style, my version of how I do my cereal fruit cake. So let's get into it. So here we're gonna incorporate our sugar and our butter together. So I'm using the lowest speed on my mixer right here. So see everything is coming well together. So now we're finished with the butter and the sugar. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our eggs. But before we do that, I am going to be adding some lemon zest in there. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some lemon juice also. So this will help to take out the rawness from the eggs. And I already removed that white eye thing that they always said to remove when you're baking. So now we're going to incorporate the lemon juice and the zest together with the eggs. And then we're going to add them to the sugar and the butter. So let's go guys. And you're going to add this gradually, not all at once. So let's get into it. And this is Pal's Island Kitchen Way yes and guys it's free feel free to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and if you're new here welcome to pals island kitchen where is pure love and positive vibes and positive energy here and now is the time to reflect and to love and to share you know share some love with someone because it's a time it's a time for togetherness so here we're incorporating our eggs with our butter and sugar Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn up the speed a little bit and then we're going to add the more of our eggs. So guys that was six eggs I'm using. here we're gonna make sure we get everything down so whatever is on the side we're gonna scrape it down into the bowl so we don't miss anything at all while mixing look at that fluffiness yes So we're gonna add the rest of the eggs guys yes i'm gonna scrape out this you know guys because in a pals island kitchen not no waste nothing dash way so all of the egg are for going at it yeah so i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far So 
so now we're finished wow look at that we're finished now with the eggs and the butter and the sugar so now you know i'm gonna draw from my wooden spoon because we're going to do the rest of the mixture with our wooden spoon yes so now i'm gonna be adding some vanilla guys you can also add your rose water your almond scents guys i did add the rose water off camera and a few little bit more stuff to it i mean as i said you can own, you know add your own mixture to your cake so now i have my sari puree here guys i have a video that will be coming out on how i do mine so i'm just adding this right here so this is like um two and a half cups yeah two and a half cups so you add more of the sorrel puree than the fruits. So yes guys, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add our mix fruit, our fruit. So this was so, mm in rum and wine and all that so yes guys we're just using a small portion of the fruit because you don't want to have too much of the fruit and less sorrel so one is going to be more than one so look at that mixture guys yep so now I'm gonna clean off my side and guys that cup right there is some sorrel syrup yeah something that i made to put in my cake so here we have our flour right here so these are all our dry ingredients that we will be using so i'm gonna sieve the flour with the baking powder the nutmeg cinnamon powder all spice ground cloves a little bit of ginger the powder ginger i'm using too and our baking powder So those are all the spices that I mentioned before with our baking powder and our salt and we're gonna just sift that everything in. Then now we're gonna go in and we're gonna incorporate everything together. Make sure the mixture is even. Yes, make sure everything combined together in the flour. Look at that. So now, we're gonna draw for our wet ingredients. Yes, the masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Yay! Cut and fold. Just guys, always remember to cut and fold. Yes. So now we're gonna add our flour gradually. Yes, guys, not all at once. So you cut. So you fold and you cut. So you fold and you cut cut and fold any way you want to do it guys but just do it the right way look at that mm. this is smelling so good already you don't even start baking it as yet so this is my mixture guys look at it yes nice Gonna be cleaning off the side here. So 
so here i'm adding a little bit of rum yes guys some white rum to it mm -hmm. so you can add the white rum you can add your fruit wine you can even get some of the sorrel wine and add to it which unfortunately i can't get it here but you can improvise what you have in your cupboard you can add to it so here i'm greasing one of my can i already do it but i'm showing you guys what i do with the paper from the butter so i'm gonna grease this baking can and then i'm going to be adding some parchment paper to it yes guys So in my oven guys, I already put an old baking can that I have. I put that on the bottom rock with some water. So your cake will stay moist and nice. It's not gonna be dried out or anything because the water is in there to help along with the process. So there we go. And we're gonna smooth that down and then I'm gonna be shaking it and make sure to get all the air pockets out before I put it in the oven so here we go guys Wow! so we are ready guys look at this so now I am spraying it with some wine and rum combined together. Yes, so this is my fruit wine with some white rum. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave this for overnight and then we're going to show you what happened in the morning. So you know you can continue spraying it over, gradually over the period of time and you can soak it for a couple of days you know with the rum to give it that authentic taste so yes guys this is how it look and I'm gonna cut in there for you guys to let you see how this perfection woo, look at the moist so guys Thank you all for watching. Live good, love God, and I'll see you next time at Pals Island Kitchen.